back to my channel today we will be talking about something else other than canva today we will be talking about chat gpt which is an optimizing language models for dialogue so what exactly does it do okay so chat gpt can be used for a variety of purposes to me i just asked it you know like uh, what is it that you can be used for and it says we can do chatbots you can do text generation it can help you write articles poetry etc it can answer questions for you it can do language translations or there are like a few languages it can translate to you can summarize a lengthy article you can analyze um, or like feedbacks reputations etc so you feed it with information and uh, depending on what you ask it to do it can help you come up with a variety of things i will tell you how we can use chat gpt to make money online by writing children's storybooks okay so once you go into this open ai chat gpt program you will be able you'll see you'll see something like this and uh, you can start uh, inputting your um, questions or your requirements over at this chat box here so this is what i have done i just uh, told it that it's a best-selling children's book author and illustrator and uh, i asked it to write a book about a dragon who lost its fire and i made it uh, more um uh, explanatory i gave it more information like it has to be interesting it has to be visual and uh, what it has to be and uh, what it has to go through before it gets it um, fire back and I, I wanted it to make it uh, detailed and I want to know how the dragon looks like and how it talks and uh, the type of surrounding it lives in and uh, what it eats and uh, I want it, uh, it to have some companions in the book so I want to include some friends and uh, the story should end with the dragon finding its fire so basically this is what it came up with it is not uh, like a very uh, it's not like a book itself but it actually starts by giving you an idea so uh, this is what it came up with it this itself could be a short story if you're writing a, a collection of short stories that could this could uh, very well be it you can use it maybe uh, tweak uh, it a little bit here and there okay so this is uh, let's just take a look at this it uh, gives you that it's majestic it gives it a name and it lives in an enchanted forest and it has glittering emerald scales piercing ruby red eyes it's very very detailed okay and it was known and it's known for its fiery breath which lit up the night sky with a warm and brilliant glow these are all very very visual description so you kind of have an idea what blaze looks like okay so then we come to the the happenings so this is uh, it finds out that the fire had gone out it tried to breathe but it was just a weak puff of smoke it felt ashamed defeated and uh, yeah so it decides to go and find its fire so along the way it meets a few of this friends they gave it a uh, chat gpt gave, gave it a name and um, how they actually where they went to and uh, how they found out and you know like uh, how they found uh, different other animals who offered to help and what they needed to do okay and uh, finally where uh, they end up and uh, how they faced fears and etc and uh, this is like with the help of friends and uh, how his bravery and determination how he found his fire again finally it gives a closing statement also like it, it is actually like a cute uh, short story but i want it to become uh, to be more detailed i want this to be one book so this is uh, so i told it it's great to give me more details about the conversation between blaze the wise old owl and the friendly animals so these information are necessary for the picture book conversation so i uh, this is a short version that it gave me earlier so i wanted conversations within the book i want uh, people to have an understanding of the situation and stuff like this so normally like what a children's book will be like so then it came up with these conversation between Blaze, Hoot, and the Bandit, and the Nuts. So this is how it came up with this is truly conversational. And then I, um, like, I was very happy with it. And I asked it to give more details about how Dragon faced its fears 
and what were the challenges involved initially it only told me that it had challenges so that it needs to solve and uh, stuff but i want more detail so this is like it gave me a few challenges okay and how it actually um, mustered the courage and uh, know how he won everything so finally i it, it's actually good but uh, i wanted to give it more challenges so i told it that i do not like the challenges that were given and uh, the dragon is not afraid of fire or heat so change the types of challenges so here it was like a few challenges uh, that the the dragon need to overcome and uh, basically it was not uh, about any fear that would be for a dragon who breathed fire so i wanted it to you know like give new challenges so it came up with another set of challenges and uh, this one uh, also had some issues like blaze can fly so it cannot be afraid of heights so, so change the challenge too so here the challenge challenge too I asked it to change so it just changed for me the challenge too and uh, so now we have uh, a kind of um, idea of what the book is going to be like so it is uh, how the dragon lost its fire and uh, how he meets his friends and uh, where they went to to find the fire what are the challenges it had to overcome and stuff like that so basically you're getting this entire storyline out of it but definitely you will have to add your own uh, um, own flair to it as well okay so then i asked it to provide me with a 25 page illustration idea for the book and I wanted to include what each scene is and what needs to be done, what needs to be in the thinking bubble or a speech bubble. So it uh, it has its uh, limitations. So it is very upright about, uh, like outright about it. And so it tells you in your face it is very difficult to provide a 25 page illustration idea, okay, because it'd be too long. So it is providing me with some suggestions for key scenes and elements, okay. So scene one, it's an introduction to Blaze and its loss of fire. It tells me that, uh, yeah, so this is what you can write if it, it's a picture book or if you're writing it in a comic style, this is what it needs to be like. Yeah, in the speech bubble, Blaze is shown asking who and why is out for help. It doesn't tell me what it actually exactly says, but it tells me in the speech bubble what it needs to be. So then scene two, scene three, and so on. So it gives me a few scenes, okay? So then uh, this, I'm very happy with it. And then I asked it, what color should I use for the background of the pages? This book is for kids between the age 8 and 10. So if you're not sure how you, uh, like, um, if you're not well-versed or if you're starting out in children's book, you don't know what colors to use, what fonts to use, and etc. So you can ask ChatGPT what you can do. So it actually gives me a very detailed a very detailed idea of what I could do. See, uh, it says uh, consider using light and bright colors, eye catching, engaging target group. Okay, popular background, it tells me these things sky blue, light, pale yellow, pistol, pink, or purple. And it tells me that I can uh, dif uh, try with different shades and combinations of these colors. So these are good. So I actually asked you to describe the setting of the scene. So what is in the background? What is in the foreground? So I'm asking you to tell me, uh, like if I want to tell an illustrator what each page or what each picture should depict, I can actually use this information and provide it. If you have a virtual assistant who's helping out, uh, helping you with the illustrator, or if you're using uh, any other software and you need to input the prompt, you can actually use this information and get something out of it. So uh, let's see the first scene, it's a background. You need an enchanted forest with tall trees, lush foliage. It must be visible in the distance. In the foreground, you have Blaze, our dragon, with its emerald green scales in the center of the scene, looking sad and defeated. This is a very visual description. This is very visual as to, it is exactly what you want in, uh, like, uh, looking in the picture. So this is the first scene, so where it is losing its fire. So this is, this actually serves the entire purpose. Okay, so if you look at, let's see, if you look at uh, scene five, it says background enchanted forest again. Blaze is in the center of the scene, breathing fire, looking joyful and triumphant. This is when it regains the fire. Okay, then let's try this one. Okay, Blaze faces fear. Okay, so it says the bottom of a deep pit filled with thorny bushes in the visible distance. Blaze is in the center of the scene, descending into the pit to retrieve the special flowers. So this is very, very visual. Uh, like if you give it to someone to illustrate, they will have a very good idea of what they, uh, what they need to do okay so in each scene the background should be detailed and colorful with attention to surroundings this is like if things you don't ask it for also it is giving it to you so it's actually pretty good then i'm asking it what colors should the font for the narrative be and the conversation so it is telling me which are the fonts i could use 
and in terms of color what are the colors that i could use black dark blue dark green for what purposes and stuff okay and then it is telling me for conversation text in the speech bubbles what i can use like handwritten fonts bold sans serif fonts etc and for the colors also it is very detailed in giving you information once you ask it and it understands what you're uh, what you are looking for it gives you a very detailed um, idea of what you can do then I, I came down and I asked you to describe the features and characteristics of all these uh, characters in the book I wanted it to include color size and other things that make them special and memorable these are things that we can use to describe our characters in the book so it actually goes down and it actually um, it's like numbering blaze bandit bandit the hoot nuts the firekeeper exactly how many people are there in the book it actually gave me a description for each one of them so this is like it, it is very very cute as you see the hoot is about two feet tall blaze is 10 feet tall bandit is about 1.5 feet tall very very detailed that's very very good okay so then i ask it to please help me find 15 seo keyword rich idea to describe those it actually gave me that also and I say I need more suggestion. Actually, basically, when I'm doing this, I actually uh, try to get about uh, from 30 to 45 um, keyword ideas so that I can mix it up and then uh, use it use it for my uh, keywords. In KDP, if you're publishing your book in KDP, you will need seven keywords. So you can. This is a pretty good way of getting the keywords suggestions. So you can get long tail keywords also. So these are all uh, relevant and uh, sometimes you can even get uh, the idea for your next book from here okay then i ask you to write a catchy title for the book this is good i didn't like it i did more specific titles so it gives me this i ask it for another it keeps giving me then i ask it for giving me more options and it gave me a lot okay then i tell you these are not catchy enough i need more suggestion be specific to the storyline so finally i found one thing and i ask you to write the subtitle for it for this title it gave me okay then uh, it gave me the subtitle i ask it for another i ask for more options it keeps giving you more and more and more then i ask you to write a book jacket blurb which you can put it uh, at the back of your book then um then i told you just amazing and it is it's a very conversational i should say so i'm glad you think so if there is anything else that i can help you with feel free to ask then i ask you to write a kdp description so this is the description that you actually put in when you upload your a book to kdp uh, website and then after that we come down and actually want to write this book in a, a pen name so i asked it for a few options of pen name you know pen name for this book and it gave me a few pen names be sure if you are uh, planning to use any of these make sure that uh, these people don't really exist and uh, that uh, these um, pen names are not taken so you have to do your research on that then i wanted to write a copyright page so it tells me what needs to be included and blah 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 and then i want to write a thank you note and a dedication page it gives me that also basically everything you need to write a book it's already here okay then i ask it to design a cover book cover for me so these are the suggestions it came up with okay then i tell it i need a cover that shows blaze in trouble or sad give cover ideas based on this it gives it gives me cover ideas based on that then uh, I wanted it to expand and give more details for number one. So this is Blaze sitting on the ground, looking down at its extinguished fire with a worried expression on its face. So it gives me a very detailed idea. So if I give this to any illustrator, they would be able to, you know, like take it and just, you know, like blindly do something with it and come up with an amazing cover page. So that's good. And I ask, colors should I use for the cover? And I ask it specifically to give me hex values. So this is basically what it gave me. This is good if you put it uh, uh, into your color code so you will actually get get this so basically everything you need to write a children's storybook is right here in chat gpt3 if you have an idea just put it inside this chat box and develop it and uh, get help you can get uh, you know there will not be a time where you will be you know like struck with a writer's block or anything like that you just need to keep asking it questions, keep it, giving it information, getting more out of it. So this is a very good way of uh, getting your book started. Don't copy everything as it gives you. You need to add your own flair also. So if you like an idea, develop it. Keep developing it until you are 
uh, until you are uh, very happy with the results okay and uh, these are very very good way of um, if you're really starting out or if you're having trouble just use the software it is a great help okay it is not the be all and end all but it can be also but uh, this one i i would say you keep it as a keep it as a side tool that you can use always at your service Okay, so I hope uh, this uh, video is of uh, help to you. I will share with you. Um, I will share with you one of the books I have created uh, in my next video, and I will show you how I actually made it come to life. I basically used ChatGPT to write that entire book. Every suggestion it gave me in terms of color, in terms of uh, fonts, uh, the cover, the cover page, uh, the illustrations within the book, everything I used. Was based on the suggestions given to me by ChatGPT3. So I will share with you in my upcoming videos. So stay tuned. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.